possibly one of the coolest resource packs right now is this special one which allows you to have many different variations of dogs when you tame wolves. In fact, there's actually a collection of 31 total dog breeds which you can actually now get using this resource pack. It's not a mod, it is another resource pack, just like yesterday's pack which I showed you which overhauled the animations. This overhauls all of the physical looks of the wolves and dogs in game. So let's jump in to how you can use this pack and how we can get all of these new dog breeds. So first what we could do is we could spawn a wolf, okay? And not only are the new dog breeds, the wolves are actually totally overhauled and changed themselves. So the default wolf now has a very more three-dimensional look to it with a lot of different faces and cuboids to it. It looks a lot more realistic and a lot more presentable. I really like the new 3D modeled appearance. And obviously as usual, just like normal, we just right click on it with a bone and we can tame it. And you could see originally, the wolf looked like a normal wolf and now it's tamed into one of the new dog breeds which is a randomized breed. Now when we tame a wolf in the wild or any kind of wolf in the game it will now auto tame into one of these 31 brand new breeds but it's entirely randomized so you may be wondering how do we actually get one of these wolves to tame into the dog that we want. So I'm going to show you this in a minute. Let's just go ahead and tame a few random ones just so we can get a few different dogs to actually be tamed so we can do this because we actually do this after the process and look how cool this is not only does it improve the wolf appearance but it also adds a few different variants of wolves too so we have black wolves gray wolves and standard white wolves which is really awesome now if you want a specific dog the next step is to actually get a name tag and then we can name one of these dogs now you can obviously just use a name tag on a mob but obviously in minecraft you do need an anvil to actually set up a name tag properly okay so let's put this anvil down and we're going to put the name tags in and we're going to make a few of these name tags obviously we're in creative so they're entirely free and you need to put one of the tags which the mod list has which corresponds to the dog breed that you want so i'm going to show you a few some of the most unique and important ones but you can click the link down below not only to download it but also to see all of the dog breed tags which you can use to spawn your favorite breed of dog especially if you have your own pet dog in real life you might be able to spawn in this pack so we'll start with one of the most favorite dog types which is a labrador <laughs> Then we can have Husky as well, German Shepherd. And most of the time you can literally just use the name of the whole dog, but there's also variations. So German Shepherd, you can also type in GS or GSD, and that will give you the exact same dog breed. There's also Pug for an example. There's so many different dog breeds and all you have to do is rename it in the anvil. I'm also going to put a meme down which is Shiba Inu, corresponding to everyone who likes Dogecoin and Shiba Inu coins in crypto. Comment down below if you know what that means. One of my favourite is Cerberus because that's basically like the hell dog. And then the skeleton dog is another really awesome one because I'm really trying to show you some of the more unique looking ones here. And then also a really cool dog is the Jack Russell which a lot of people like too, which is with one L. And here we have a few different name tag so this should be enough just to show you the demonstration in this video and we've already spawned a fair amount of dogs so we can try these out so the first one is the labrador so as you can see you can literally just right click on this new name tag which has been labeled appropriately and the dog will transform into that breed so you don't need to do anything before the taming process this is all done after the taming process which is pretty cool so that's the labrador then we have huskies which look really nice it's just basically like the normal wolf model but with black colors on and really beautiful blue eyes let's try pug okay pug looks really awesome and shiba inu hey there we go now cerberus is one of my favorites so here we have a normal wolf cerberus changes it into basically a three-headed demon dog so this is like the dog that protects the gates of hell which I believe is in Greek mythology but I can't remember so correct me if I'm wrong and then we have the Jack Russell over here which is a nice little small dog which these dogs are extremely fast if you've encountered them okay but they're usually quite playful and they don't really hurt people unless they've been trained to do so which would be kind of worrying and then finally one of my favorite which we can spawn is the skeleton dog so look how cool this is if you've seen world of warcraft this really looks like it belongs in that game like one of those lich king's minions of the scourge it's basically like a full bone-like dog, so if you spawn skeletons, it would look perfect alongside them as well. So we could actually go ahead and do that. We could spawn a skeleton, just for some comparison really. A skeleton and a skeleton horse. Here we go. Skeleton and a skeleton horse. Look how cool that looks. Oh, okay, something's getting attacked. The Cerberus is attacking something. What's he attacking? Maybe they'll attack the skeleton, I don't know. Hey, there we go. 
So the skeleton dog will actually attack the skeleton. It's kind of weird looking at this demon dog, the Cerberus, with the skeleton dog both together. Because they're like mythological dogs of like mythology. And they're just going to attack the skeleton. Damn, they're not actually fast enough to catch up with him though. Can they get him? Can they get him? Hey, there we go. It's actually interesting to see skeletons run for the first time. Because when I'm in survival mode, they always seem to kill me and shoot me. But as soon as I set dogs on them, they're too scared. Look at this dude. He's like Usain Bolt. He's super fast. Hey, there we go. They're going to catch him eventually. You can run, but you can't hide. And that is the Better Dogs resource pack. This one was a little bit of a shorter one because there's not really too much to showcase unless I show you every single dog breed, which would be extremely hard to do and very time consuming. But I've showed you some of the most key ones and I've also showed you the list, which is down below, and how to use it in action in the anvil so you can get the right dog breed that you want and transform your new wolf into the best dog breed that you like in real life for an example so this is a really cool unique resource pack and even though this channel mainly focuses on mods there's some really impressive resource packs coming out in the more recent months so i've decided to cover a few of them recently make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it or if you learned about something new and subscribe because i'll be bringing out some more java and bedrock mod lists in the next few days too thanks for watching and i'll see you next time i be the show make a room shake it shaking it down i be the with a high profile, everybody come on, we be the shakers with a crazy style, showing everybody how to enjoy a crazy while we time rocking to the sound, chilling women everywhere, I be the big down, swing at a hospital, super chicken, baby, baby, come on, you better rock with me, I be the hot shot player from nowhere to my